Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I want to just come on because I cannot resist from telling you about these amazing cyber deals that are happening today. So, how are you? How you doing? How was your holiday? And are you ready? for Cyber Monday. I don't know if you did a Black Friday thing or not. And um, I got to tell y'all a little secret about me before we even get into the stream. First of all, if this is your first time here, my name is Eileen Smith. And here's what I like to do. I like to share with you tips and tools and tutorials that'll help you feel more confident and have more positive outcomes with the content you create online. And I have over 400 videos here on YouTube and most of them are educational. I also do want to inspire you to Get out of your comfort zone if you're someone who's been afraid to get on cam or even to go live, or even if you have wanted to do a podcast, but you're like, oh, I'm not really sure which microphone should I use, which host should I use. I've got tutorials that go down the road and describe all of that. And in fact, I have well over 400 videos here, but every now and then one of the tools that I recommend, it kind of goes under, right? It goes away. Maybe they get acquired or something like that. And that's happened on several occasions. And so when that happens, it's kind of a bummer, right? Like you're all dependent on a specific tool and you, you got all your ducks in a row, you know how to use the tool and all that. And then all of a sudden it goes away. That happened to me several times with some of the live streaming apps that I use. And I want to thanks to who just gave me the thumbs up. And remember here we say two taps. And what that means is, you know, you hear some folks on YouTube saying, smash that like button, but I don't want you to smash it. I know you probably love your iPhone just as much as I do or your Android phone. I want you to gently just tap it, tap on that like button, tap on that share button. If it's your first time here, tap on that subscribe button and that second tap is to ring the notification bell and my girl Donna is here. Hey girl, how are you? Also my buddy Hamad. Hello teacher. I miss a lot of your stream, your lives from Pakistan. I introduced StreamYard a lot in Pakistan. Yes, StreamYard has uh, introduced a whole lot of new features as well. And the sports time machine. I think this is my first time being introduced to you. So thank you so much for coming to the stream. And uh, you may have come before, but I just never noticed you leaving any kind of chat thank comments. You so much for coming so to the stream, you, you can tell before, but I'm excited I never noticed <laughs> you. because I forgot to mute the tab. So I you know, always go and pop my chat out and that was something I forgot to do. So that's what I was going over there to do. So also Dryer Buzz Original Digital is here. Good morning, my love. So Michelle Green Stopmeyer, first time blessings. Oh my gosh, that is so, so sweet of you. Okay, so as I was saying, you know, over time, and you know, I started really live streaming I started on YouTube in 2009, but I started live streaming as soon as they introduced Google Hangouts, Hangouts on Air. You know, that's gone away for those of you who don't know, even though I do, I think most of you guys know. Santhi is here. What's up, girl? How you doing? <laughs> is, is here. Love you. Thank you. Too. I love you too, sweetie. Okay, so then we had different platforms come out, like uh, Justin TV, and um, there was all kinds of, some of the ones that I remember 
like Meerkat was a mobile one that we were able to use. And a lot of us met on Meerkat and we got introduced. And then there was like Fire Talk, which was another really cool one because you could go live on YouTube from Fire Talk, bringing gas and all that good stuff. And then Huzza. Oh my gosh. Huzza was amazing because you could take payments. People could, you know, have, you could have private streams. You could do webinars and all that stuff. Ain't no point in me talking about that because it's gone. It's gone. And let's not forget Blab. A lot of us fell in love with Blab and some of us are still like, you know, a little shaken when we think about the fact that they shut down in the middle of the night. Oh, uh, it was really in the middle of the evening, but you know, I was asleep. So when I woke up, it was gone. <laughs> so when I found out about Ecamm Live, and that's one of the sites I want to talk to you about today. And it's a technology that I'm using right now. And if you're on a Mac, I highly highly recommend that you check out Ecamm Live. And right now, it is currently on sale. It's their cyber deal that they're having. It's 50% off. And, you know, I, I got to be honest with you guys. I'm not really all that into Cyber Monday and all that stuff. But I can't like not let you know about this because it's only going to happen. It's only uh, active for the one day. They didn't do the thing where people say, oh, oh, cyber, you don't have to wait for Cyber Monday. We're st-. No, it's only been today. Now, I don't know if they'll extend it. I got a feeling that they won't because they already have a great base. Speaking of the users of... Um, Ecamm Live, one of them's here now, Studio Geek, hey, hey, hey. And, you know, it's really surprising to me that they even did this cyber deal. So that's one of the things that I wanted to mention to you today. So let me see if I can get my little banner up there. So that's where you're going to go to get Ecamm Live, all right? My friend Barb has already done it today. She already got her 50% off. So it's Eileen.link slash Ecamm Live. I've got a whole slew of tutorials here on Ecamm Live and all the incredible things it can do. But uh, I do want to share with you, and <laughs> Studio Geek says, what, a deal on Ecamm Live? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Let me take down the banner so you can see him. Okay, so... What I'm going to do is I kind of pre-recorded a little something just to give you a little of an overview of what can be done with Ecamm Live. So I'll be right back and I'm right here. I can still answer your questions and all that good stuff, but I just want you to take a look at this video. Hi everyone, my friends at Ecamm Live are having a Cyber Monday sale. It ends at midnight, but you can get 50% off. So check this out. I wanted to make an announcement to notify you that my favorite tool and the one that I'm using right now for the virtual cam, Ecamm Live, is on a 50% off sale. And the sale is expiring at midnight today. And just a quick recap, Ecamm Live is a Mac-only software. And uh, let me just put my link up there for you so you'll know where to go to get it. And because... uh, Ecamm Live developers, actually they're two, they're twin brothers, and they've been developing software for Macs for 20 years, okay? So Mac is their thing, and that's the main reason why uh, it's a Mac-only software, 
and there's other softwares that have uh, maybe tried to use or integrate some of the same features that Ecamm Live has, but they're subpar. And, you know, I've also talked to you guys about StreamYard, which is how I'm being live right now. This is coming to you through StreamYard. And I like both. I even had a, uh, someone leave a comment on one of my videos and say, why in the world would you use Ecamm to show off StreamYard? Because quite frankly, that's the only way you can do it. You can't really... Um, in a professional looking way, you can't really show off StreamYard with StreamYard. So of course you can take screenshots and all of that, but I wanted to be live and I was, and, and it worked well. So I personally like to use both tools in combination. And there's so many other things that you can use in combination with Ecamm. And so I'm just going to go over a couple of those things. So uh, other things that I can use. Now, of course, it says that I subscribe to my own channel because uh, <laughs> that's just a test that they put in there. So you can see. Uh, also, if someone were to make a donation and give me some bits, uh, this is a Stream Labs integration with Ecamm. You can use a video backgrounds with your green screen with Ecamm Live. It also integrates with the Elgato Stream Deck very nicely. So I can bring up animations and all kinds of things on screen. And also one of my favorite things about Ecamm Live is that I can use it as the virtual cam which is how I integrate it with other tools like StreamYard. So use this link, eileen.link slash ecamm live to get 50% off between now. 50% off between now and midnight. Sorry, I cut myself off there because I wanted to make sure I got in here and said hi to the folks that have joined and Scott Fitcher. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Either way, I'll just call you Scott. Hey, Scott, what's up? <laughs> and uh, also, I want to say hi to all this good good vibes. My girl, Sh Shawana's Creative Circle is bringing... She just came in and at mentioned everybody and said hi. And I so appreciate you, my dear. It's very, very sweet of you. Okay. And um, also, st Studio said that uh, my green screen looks so real. That was um, that pre-recorded bit. I actually uh, recorded that earlier, and you you saw that I mentioned that I was using StreamYard, and so I want to get that right out in the open because Scott is like, you know, Arr. it's Mac only. Ecam Live is Mac only, but yes, you can use StreamYard, and StreamYard is a great alternative for OBS. And Scott, you mentioned I stopped using Mac because virtual cam does not work well with Mac for OBS studio. And there are other reasons. Okay. So Brandon, hi, this is my first time here. Hey, Brandon, I'm rolling out the red carpet for you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> okay. So now with OBS studio, let me explain that, um, OBS was something that I never really spent much time learning because right away I thought it was too complicated. And thanks for subscribing, Manoj. You'll see that that that's that little integration I was telling you guys about in that little video. That's uh, Stream Labs, and it's an integration that works with Ecamm. That's not going to work with something like StreamYard. However, it would work with OBS. So those of you who are brave enough to have ventured into OBS, good for you. 
My only thing with OBS and a complaint that I hear from others as well, of course, because it's free, they do have a community, but it's kind of hard like to get support and it's kind of hard like to get up to speed. It's a steep learning curve. Ecamm Live is, is pretty basic. It's pretty simple. Plus, I got tons of tutorials. StreamYard would be that alternative for those of you who don't have a Mac or for whatever reason you don't want to use a Mac. Now, in order to use the virtual cam, because Ecamm has a virtual cam, and Scott mentioned virtual cam with OBS, but Ecamm has virtual cam uh, capabilities as well. And the way I use it with StreamYard is with the Firefox browser. So uh, I don't know, Scott, if you wanted to give your OBS a try using the virtual cam with with StreamYard. Uh, if you've never used StreamYard before, just know now they have the integration with Twitch, direct integration with Twitch. You don't have to use Restream. I feel sorry for the folks that Restream because I don't know if they're doing a Cyber Monday deal or not, but as the word gets out, you kind of don't even need Restream <laughs> these days, you know, because StreamYard is, is letting you go uh, multicast but I didn't want to use StreamYard I really just wanted to be here with you guys on YouTube right now okay <laughs> and 50% uh, off I will tell live streaming pros because they are going live later and they are trying to see on Friday to see if Ecamm has a deal but they have one today yeah and uh, Ecamm was very uh clear with us, all of our of the affiliates, as well as the folks that are in the beta group, that they wanted to keep the lid on the sale. So they didn't tell us, they, we, they did say there was gonna be a cyber deal, but they didn't say it was gonna be 50% off. Okay, so wait, before, for, uh, for those of you who were on PCs and who are just like, okay, can she talk about something else besides Ecamm? I am. I'm going to talk about something else besides Ecamm because this is another sale that I want to share with you. A lot of times I will share my mobile phone on my streams, okay? And uh, people always ask, how'd you do that? And right now, I'm using a tool called Air Server, okay? Bear with me. I, it's a story behind this, okay? But Air Server is great when you want to integrate your phone. Like, I'm going to show you how I would do this now with Ecamm. Uh, I'm going to make it bigger, of course. Okay, and I want it off to the side. Let's do it the other way around. Let's get rid of me and then put me up as picture in picture. Nope, that didn't work. A little technical difficulties there because I waited until afterwards to get this all started, but that's okay. So, what, but what we can do is if you don't have a Mac, because this kind of Air Server and, you know, Ecamm Live work together, and those are for Mac users. But if you don't have a Mac, and before I had a Mac, you know, I've been on YouTube since 2009, and I wanted to share, even back in the day, my Android phone. I use this other tool, which I'm going to show you. This one is on sale now, too. And they had a cute little graphic, so I'll put that up. It's a Cyber Monday sale. That was a cute little graphic. <laughs> and here is the tool. It is called Reflector. Reflector. And they also make apps called Air Parrot and Reflector for Teacher and Universal Bundle. Well, the bundle means that you just get everything. And so this worked great for me. And actually, you can use it on the Mac as well. And uh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't get the link. I'll have the link in the description of this video. But you actually, you could just do a Google search and just look for squirrels because the people who make it are called squirrels. But just search for Reflector 3. Let me see if I can put up a banner real quickly. R-E-F-L-E-C-T-O-R. 
three. Okay. I'll just put that up there so you'll know that's what you want to do a Google search for. I don't have an affiliate for that or anything like that, like I do with Ecamm. But I, I saw it in my inbox and I stopped using it on my Mac because I had a little problem with it and I was having a little communication problem with solving that. But if you're on a PC, and I use it on PC for years, never, ever, ever had a problem with it. So just go ahead if you're on PC and get that at that price, 40% off, because it's cheap. It's only like $16 or whatever. And you'll be able to, you, you just don't know the folks that watch my tutorials that are simply amazed that I can put my iPhone up on the screen. Or, you know, when it was the Android phone when I used the reflector. So that is a way to dazzle your audience, ladies and gentlemen. Dazzle your audience. <laughs> uh, no, as far as I know, Studio Geek, I didn't hear anything from Air Server. They could be on a deal today. I don't know. I didn't get an email from them. I got one from Reflector, or actually it's Squirrels. Okay. And, uh... Tube Techie is in the house. Hope you had a great holiday and how you doing for Cyber Monday? <laughs> okay, so now, oh, I want to go back to the comment that uh, Scott said about StreamYard. Where is that comment? I think I lost track of it, Scott. But you said something about StreamYard. Let me go over here. Let me close out my Stream Deck. And um, I, I lost track of what you said about uh, StreamYard, but I think you are familiar with it already. So, oh yes, yeah, StreamYard does work with OBS Studio. It's fun to use. Thanks for the tip, you rock. Oh, thank you, yay. <laughs> that was worth finding. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> um, the other thing, this little tutorial that I have, it really is for uh, StreamYard. And it has to do with screen sharing. Now, those of us who are, um, you know, we've been doing the screen sharing thing for a while. We know our way around the block and all of that. And uh, Tube Techie said he did. And same to me. How is the new Stream Deck working out? It The new Stream Deck is amazing. Okay, I guess I better show you guys that before I go into this other thing. And this is going to be a little shaky cam here because I'm going to use the NDI, which is another app that integrates with Ecamm Live, okay? And it's an iPhone app. All right, because it has to be an iPhone app. It doesn't integrate with Android, I got to tell y'all. I'll tell y'all that right away. All right, so I'm, this is shaky cam because I'm actually holding my phone. And, oh, got it upside down. Sorry. <laughs> Told you it was shaky cam. So there, I have the Stream Deck XL, and I've got all the buttons filled up on the front screen there. And I do have a second screen, but I can't show you because, like I said, I'm just holding the phone in my hand. So. <laughs> all right so yes i love it i love my uh, stream deck xl i had the other one the 15 key one and uh, i was just running out of people said well use folders yeah but the folders was getting on my nerves that was annoying to me <laughs> tube techie said man that's legit and wow that is big yes i still have the old stream deck i just got this stream deck on friday so it actually came on Friday, and so, and then I didn't set it up. I didn't finish, literally finish setting it up until this morning. And uh, <clears throat> because StreamYard has integration with Twitch, and Studio Geek was helping me out with uh, some of the tests, some of the things yesterday. And then as soon as I got off of that stream, someone asked me, did I have a tutorial for? How, 
and I was like, I don't have a tutorial. I just have a video of me fumbling around. <laughs> uh, Black Friday deal. Um, I, um, I'm not sure it was a Black Friday deal. It was on sale. I just received it on Black Friday. Okay, but it was, it was on sale. So I guess that was a Black Friday deal, but it, it wasn't called that. Okay. In fact, no, in fact, it wasn't a Black Friday deal because uh, one of the young ladies, her name is Michelle, posted over in the Ecamm group that the 15 key stream deck was on sale. And my heart started beating a little fast. Like, oh, I wonder if the XL is on sale. Like, because I already had the 15 key, you know, <laughs> and I said, let me just go look. And I went and looked and it was on sale as well. So I was like, now's the time. It's now or never. Because it's $250 regularly. But I got it for $199. And so, you know what? Let's look really quickly and see if it's still on sale. I'm just curious. And uh, it's such a time saver. For those who don't know what the Stream Deck is, it just makes your life so much easier because you can just, you know, push buttons. Like if I just wanted some music. stream deck in the worst way uh there's another let me see what's another cool thing i can do real quick um i can oh just to keep the chat rolling i can actually post in the chat now there's other ways that i could post in the chat i could use a night bot or something like that but how about that? Just push one button and welcome friends and thanks for coming. Share this video and don't forget to subscribe. Hashtag two taps. Y'all know what the two taps are, right? Tap to like this video and tap to share it out. And you know, I don't think I got enough thumbs up on this video yet. So start with the tapping. <laughs> and if you're new, tap once to subscribe and the second tap is to turn on that notification bell y'all know what time it is all right now i see them thumbs up coming through okay thanks 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 so i uh, scott i'm sad to tell you it's not on sale anymore oops i'm just a little too big on that it's not on sale anymore in fact it says 248 dollars so I guess maybe that's a little $12 off or something. Let's just go, let's just click in here. And um, wait a minute. Sometimes I get confused about where I'm supposed to click in order to just get to the, all right, I'll just click on 15 keys. And so I already bought that one too. So that one's not on sale anymore. Oh, wait a minute. Fresh, $97. $97. So that one is on sale. So if you just want to get your feet wet. Now they do have a six key one. I don't recommend this one. Seriously, it sounds like a good idea. But seriously, you don't want that. You don't want that. And not unless you're just having it as a second one or something like that. But if you're seriously doing live streams all the time and everything, those six keys. Now, for those that don't know, you can set up folders and those folders can go into something else and you can set up a folder inside of a folder and it goes on infinitely. But by the time you press that folder, keep pressing that folder button, you could have used your mouse or got up and done whatever it was you wanted to do. So that's why I found the folders annoying for what I want to do is to have all of my Ecamm things at my fingertips. And if I'm on Twitch, they really don't have anything for YouTube other than what I just showed you, which was putting my own comment in there, you know, 
But on Twitch, I can play an ad. I can do a clip. I can um, put the comments in there. I can see how many viewers I have on. I can add markers. A whole lot of things that I can do with Twitch. That you know, And I wish they would come up with some more things that we could do on uh, YouTube. <laughs> And Scott said, no, sorry, Scott. This is why I am on here now telling you, because I know there's somebody that needs to hear that Ecamm is on sale. Just like my friend Barb, you know, she's been talking and asking me about Ecamm for months. So today was a perfect day for her to go ahead and buy it at the 50% off. Okay. And just like I know a lot of people, you know, when I tell them I'm on Mac and I'll use the air, the air server and all that, or with Ecamm, you can just literally plug your phone into your Mac with USB and it starts sharing your phone. But for those who are on the PC, get the reflector, get the reflector. And actually you can use the, the reflector will work with Mac and iPhone. And I was using it when they made one of the upgrades and it has to be over a year ago. Uh, I'll explain it to you. I'll try to give you the reader's digest version. Sometimes when I'm screen sharing, I have to go into my camera roll. Let's just say I'm doing an Instagram tutorial and I go into my camera roll and the phone would be in portrait mode. But when I would go into camera roll, the reflector was automatically switching and going into landscape mode. And I didn't want it to do that because it was doing it on the fly. And I complained to them about it, but they didn't seem to understand what I was talking about. And then going back and forth and back and forth, I didn't hear back from a person. And then I got another person and then they wanted me to explain the whole thing all over again. And I'm like, y'all taking up too much of my time. <laughs> But if you're not going into your camera roll, you'll be fine. <laughs> okay. So that was just one of those things. Okay. I'm sorry, Studio Geek. You've been saying a lot of things that I have not had a chance to put up here. So I'll try it now. I have great news. You can get the Stream Deck 15 key for $100. Okay. There you go. You told him the same thing that I said. <laughs> uh, Scott has no Stream Deck yet. He is going... Uh, oh, is using an old keyboard to switch it. Okay. I got sick on a snow day, but next week I'm going to make a new live show called Music News. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, that sounds fun. You know, um, I'm honestly a person that doesn't pay attention to the news, but Music News sounds fun. As long as it's not like totally gossipy. Because I got Wendy Williams for that. <laughs> I was watching her today. That's the only reason why I'm giving her a shout out. And normally I would never, I don't even see her because I'd be at work. <laughs> and okay. So those are the two cyber deals I wanted to tell you. So now let me just see if I can find this video where I talk about screen sharing. And this is important. And, uh, you know, I, I kind of went off topic, but let, um, let me bring it back. Those of us who do these kinds of tutorials, we kind of take it for granted. You know, like when somebody said to me, you know, how do you do the screen sharing? I need a step-by-step -step for screen sharing on StreamYard. And I was like, and then I got to remember, well, yeah, because you've been doing it for 10 years. Of course. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, even before StreamYard was out. We always had screen sharing, even with um, Google Hangouts on air. Rest in peace. But even as I was putting the tutorial together, I was learning things. I was teaching my own self stuff while I was making my tutorial. <laughs> so anyway, this is a, let me tell you how long it is. This is a, a three minute little tutorial about screen sharing and I promise that you will learn something even if you are an experienced screen sharer. Ru, 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 ru. <laughs> okay, so 
Hi, Hi, folks. It's Eileen Smith, and a question came in about seeing a detailed um, tutorial on screen sharing. So I have one monitor, and I have a few programs open in the background. So I'm going to open up the screen share option in StreamYard, and you see, of course, I never really want to share my entire screen, but there may be an occasion where you do application window. So here's the different applications. StreamYard, I don't recommend sharing the same thing that you're actually teaching or showing. So I would not want to share the StreamYard tab. Okay, I'm going to scroll down because I'm actually using another program to record this. So you don't want to use those options. All right. So for example, let's say I wanted to share Photoshop. So here's the Photoshop that I was working on. So I'm screen sharing that. So now I want to focus on the entire screen. So I choose that entire screen, a layout option. So now I'm done with that. All right. I'm going to say I'm stop screen sharing. Now I want to go in again because I want to screen share Spotify, which is something else that I have open here. Right. Once again, I can do my screen share. I can talk about Spotify, whatever I want to show on there. And once again, remove it. Or if I wanted to have that layout where I'm on the side, I would choose this option. Now, I'm not on cam right now only because I'm just not camera ready, but I'm using the, uh, the audio option here inside of StreamYard. If you want to know more about that, let me know. Now you can also go into this layout and I find this layout to be very awkward when I'm doing screen share, but it just depends upon what you're sharing. It may not be awkward for you. So go in here and do a test before you actually go live. So now let me get rid of that one. Let's go and trash it because I don't want to uh, go back to Spotify anymore. So now I'm going to go back into screen sharing again. Once again, I can choose other applications. I have a Firefox browser window open. I can screen share that as well. So you may notice, and this just happened to me, that sometimes the thing that you start screen sharing jumps to the top layer and then you can't find Chrome. So you just have to try to uh, find your Chrome tab by moving things around on your desktop. Okay, I hope this has been helpful for you. And I'm just going to remove that. Once again, it's Eileen Smith. And I hope this has been helpful for you. And so what I'm going to do now, guys, oops, there you go. I meant to do a uh, picture in picture get me on there a awfully big picture in picture let's see if i can resize that down oh, it doesn't want me to resize it right now let's try this nope uh, it's being a little finicky that's all right i won't be on picture in picture so i want to show you the software for the stream deck since scott was asking so many questions about it and, uh, you know, my friend Studio Geek is here. Anyone else interested in seeing the stream deck, let me know. Uh, yeah, you can still use Google Hangouts if you have a business account. But Hangouts on Air don't integrate with YouTube. That was a whole thing, you know, because Google Plus went away. Like when we were using Hangouts, it was Hangouts on Air. And, you know, you had an audience there. Let's try it again. It's being finicky. Sorry about that. You had an audience there. I'll come. I'll stay on, right? <laughs> because you had all the people that were in your circles and so forth on Google Plus. But you know, you can still use the Hangouts tool, but you're not live. You you don't have anybody watching you unless you invite them to the Hangout, and that would be like onesies and twosies. <laughs> 
So, you know, you can use it for like a training or uh, doing a little one-on-one with someone or something like that, or a small group of people a little doing a little chat. That's fine, but you're not live. Uh, another tool that I like to use, it used to be called Appear In, but now it's called Where By. But if you guys have questions about that, put them in the chat and I'll show you where by really quickly. But meanwhile, let's look at the Stream Deck. This is the software. I already showed you guys the actual hardware. Okay. Um, but this is how you set it up. Let me try to make it so that more of it is on screen. Because I want you guys to see the controls over on the side, okay? So let me zoom out a little now. So basically there's a menu. Now I have some of the things hidden in the menu. So uh, for example, some of the things that I have hidden are the OBS settings. Here's all the OBS, but I don't use OBS. So, you know, I don't need to have those available to me. Then there's Mixer. They just recently added in the Mixer controls, I believe. Or maybe they were there, but I don't. I, I rarely use Mixer. I do use it sometimes, but not, not that much. But one of the things that I just really started exploring since I got this on Friday was this soundboard. Let me see if I can figure out where I added the soundboard. Hold on just one moment. I have to go to my other profile because now I only have the two profile. I only need two profiles now. Yay. So yeah, no, I don't remember which one is the soundboard, but <laughs> wait, I see some questions coming in. Here you go. Oh, that was just studio geek. You, you left and came back. Thanks for coming back, dear. Um, all right. So let's see. I can, if I want to play a movie. Okay, now did you notice the transitions? This is one of the latest things that they introduce is the transition. So now I'm going to play another movie and I want you to see if uh, you notice that bright light that transitions. <laughs> The bright light again. <laughs> okay, so just digging down a little bit more into this integration with Ecamm Live and the Stream Deck. What you need to do is make sure that when you're playing a movie, let's just say, for example, I was playing that background music, but yet I still wanted to talk over top of it. Ecamm Live will automatically mute my mic when I'm playing the movie, but I can override that. So let me show you. So now my mic, well, actually I turned it on, so it was not muted. But now I have control over the volume level of this music. So I can turn it up, turn it down. I can pause it. I can put it on loop. I can take it off loop. All right. Another really cool thing that we can do with Ecamm Live is setting up scenes. Oh my gosh. It took me a while to figure out how these work. But let me show you now. You're going to see a combination of some of the music that I was playing earlier and something else that I have set up. Check this out. 
So I put myself in a circle so that I could, you know, narrate over top of this music. Well, there's no music. I'm sorry. If you're not hearing music, that's okay. That's because um, this particular scene is set up and it's locked, meaning that whenever I want to have this set up going, maybe I want to put up some kind of uh, graphic or something like that in front of these curtains, I just click a button. I could program it on the stream deck. Now this I don't have from programmed on the stream deck yet, but I will. And uh, let's see if there's something else that I have there. Mm, I'm not sure about this one. Okay, this one has my stream labs widgets there. Nothing's going on right now, so you don't really see it. But let me see if I, I don't know if I have the comment widget um, there. Yep, there's the stream labs, <laughs> pointing the wrong way. The stream labs comment widget. So you go ahead and leave another comment and I want you to see the difference between me pinning your comment up on screen and me using this widget. Okay, you guys aren't pinning, aren't commenting fast enough, but so now I have two comments on screen. It would, it would have been better if one of them was me and one of them was from one of you guys, but that's okay. I know you're multitasking. That's all right. I know you're still there. <laughs> okay. And I appreciate y'all, you know, for whatever amount of time that you're spending with me here today. But this is a widget, a what's called a comment overlay. Widget from Stream Labs. Shawana, thank you for laughing. At least I know you're still there, boo. <laughs> All right. So, oh, now that you guys are rolling in with the comments. Okay. So now I can increase the size of, this is really cool. I can make this bigger. Oh, no, I can't. I have it locked. So I have to unlock it. All right. I'm, I'm going to, um, against my better judgment, because I want to show off a little. I'm going to unlock it because I had it locked. Matt, Matt Lack. Hi, how are you? Now I can make these comments really, really big. I can move them around if I want to put it on that side. I don't want them that big because, you know, that's distracting. But this is a nice size for them, right? And it allows me to have more than one comment up on screen versus if I do it the regular old school way, let me go, let me go back and lock that again. If I do it the regular old school way, it's just with the overlay, the one comment, you know, similar to what you can do within StreamYard. Now, this other thing that just came out was the fact that these comments are timed. So I think I set it to disappear after 15 seconds maybe, but I can change that time. So that it gives me long enough to read the comment. It gives long enough for you guys to be acknowledged that you were there and that you left a comment. I need so much stuff y'all can do with this ecam. I can't even remember all of it. <laughs> I got to be honest with you. It is really, it's the best. Now, Streamlabs as let me go back to my uh, default scene. So sh so Stream Labs has those widgets that I just shared with you. But also Stream Elements has a widget. I'm not sure what this one's going to look like, but let me try it. Um No, oh, that might not be the right one. Let's try this one. I've kind of um, 
tested out several of the stream elements widgets and so I may have lost track of the one. Oh no, I'm using the wrong one. Jeez. I'm picking up the wrong ones. <laughs> That's why now you see that comment is in black, a black background. That's because I was picking up the wrong ones for stream elements. I'm looking at the wrong uh, logo. Oh, there you go. See those notifications up at the very tippy top of the screen? Now I can move those around. So people that gave me bits over on Twitch, that followed me over on Twitch, and uh, my subscriber, my faithful friend, Ross Bundy, she's a four-time subscriber over there. And so her thing is appearing. <laughs> so there's so many cool. So this is a different, a totally different style. Let me get rid of the comment one because I really like how the stream elements one looks. And I got too many of them up on screen right now. Okay, let's see if we can get that down under or in front of my black shirt so you can really see it. All right, so see this Ross Bundy, it says four times because she subscribed to the channel four different months. Coach Diesel, that's my buddy, Michael Daniels. He gave me some bits. Blue Knight 755, that's someone who just decided to follow me. So this would be on the rotation until someone else takes an action over on Twitch. And that's using stream elements. Now, I don't have the stream elements ones down pat. That's why I haven't done a tutorial on it. <laughs> and I really think that Ecamm guys built this whole concept of widget overlay, they built it for stream labs. So there may still be some things there, but if you're familiar with stream labs, you may know that one of their biggest competitors is stream elements. And uh, they make all kinds of extensions for Chrome, but they also work as overlays, which is how I'm using it here. So let's get some of your comments. You guys are saying hi to each other. And everybody's had a wonderful holiday <laughs> and uh, spending money on Cyber Monday and all that good stuff, too. So, yeah, so I got <clears throat> the Stream Elements widget going there. And so what's really cool is you really think about that. These are comments that are happening over on Twitch. I mean, this, this is actions that is happening over on Twitch. However, it's showing up here on YouTube <laughs> because it's like a 24 hour thing. This widget exists and because it's working off of a URL that I can add into Ecamm Live, it doesn't matter what platform. I could be live on Twitter right now. I could be live on Facebook. Those same uh, rotation, rotating widget would still show up. That's just the power of Ecamm Live. What can I tell you? <laughs> For that, I think we have to make some kind of noise over here. <laughs> Let's see. I got some other noise here I can bring into the... <laughs> all right. All my Ecamm Live tricks are coming out. Do I like stream elements? Yes, I like stream elements. That's why I'm bringing it up. Um, Studio Geek, that was my point. A stream elements actually has a lot. Their um, overlays are, in my opinion, aesthetically more beautiful than the ones on Streamlabs. However, the Streamlabs ones are effective. They're cute. They're, they're pretty doggone awesome, but stream elements, it's just that, as I mentioned, the Ecamm guys built this overlay tool for the stream labs. So this is the only stream elements widget that I was able to get to work in. Oh, and by, by the way, shout out to Alpha Gaming because actually they gave away a widget for stream elements because they were promoting stream elements in one of their videos. And 
they said, you know, you guys can have the code because uh, the, uh, the guy, Harris, he had a designer build this widget, but you can go in there and tweak it. So I changed the color, and I think I changed the font or a couple other things. I'm not sure exactly what I changed. Okay. So um, shout out to him because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't even – I tried to create a widget on my own. I couldn't even get it to work inside of Ecamm. So Stream Elements is great, you know, and they have their own tool as well. Uh, you know, like there's OBS, then there's Stream Labs OBS, but Stream Elements has something that's called Stream Elements Live. And as a matter of fact, Twitch has their own live tool now too. But uh, it's PC. It's PC only. So, Scott, if you're still here, you might want to check into that. Download it. It's, it's, it's perfectly free. So check out the Twitch app. You just download it on your computer, and you can use it to go live, and you can have scenes and all. Of course, it's, it's in its infancy, so it's not as sophisticated as Streamlabs or as OBS. <clears throat> But the Stream Elements app, I have not had a chance to sit down and watch reviews of it. But I do think it works on Macs. But, you know, I don't really need it because I have Ecamm. <laughs> you know, and I don't know if it integrates with Facebook and Twitter and all that stuff. So I'm, I'm good. <laughs> but I think it's wonderful that we have all these options Guys, uh, you know, this is what makes this like a really great time to get into streaming, to get into video and to have an online presence right now because there are just so many options out here uh, to us, for us to use. Scott just streams on YouTube. Okay, well, the stream elements works with YouTube. Didn't you know that? <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. We're talking about the Twitch app. Okay. Yes, you're right. My fault. But hey, don't limit yourself, guys. Um, now, Studio Geek spoke for Scott. I don't know if Scott feels that way or not. But you have your presence on YouTube, okay? And this is kind of the way I use Twitch, all right? It's just, a, just so happened that I started building a little following over there. But... I wanted to experiment with different types of content and um, just when I'm doing testing of things before I bring them over here and share them with you on YouTube, I use Twitch where I'm actually live. I'm actually in that live environment and all these little widgets and things, I've tested them over on Twitch before I even brought them over here. And it turned out that I, I ended up liking Twitch. So don't limit yourself and say, I just stream on YouTube, I don't use Twitch. You can use Twitch as your, especially if you're a streamer. You don't have to be a gamer. They have the just chatting category. They have the podcasting category. It may not be a big, presence over there in comparison but there's still there is an audience over there and especially if you're doing any kind of crafting like studio geek he does his music so if you're if you're talented in, in the creative kind of way or if you're just like me who just says i don't care if i fit in or not i'm going over there anyway <laughs> you know because i want to use it for my purpose and everybody who's over there isn't looking for the same type of content. You know, you can watch video games and then one day you just say, hey, I'm getting tired of watching that streamer. Let's see who else is live. Okay, and this is how people are meandering over to Mixer now because Ninja went over there and somebody else called Shroud went over to Mixer. So now people are gone over to Mixer. But when there's no big time Twitch streamer Going to Mixer? Nobody's talking about Mixer. Like, Shroud was the last big one that I know of that went over there. Mixer's not in the news. Nobody's talking about it. So maybe before the end of the year, they'll get somebody else to come over, you know. And, uh, you know, but really, Twitch is the place. 
and you know I'm not wishing anybody any uh I'm not hoping that things don't work out. I hope they do work out for those that have, have gone over there and for those who are using Mixer. But I don't want to go over there only because every time I try to um, stream on Mixer, I am totally lost. I don't know what to do over there. And I can't find a straightforward tutorial. Uh, you know, and I asked... Uh, Earlier, Studio Geek mentioned the live streaming pros. I asked them for a tutorial. I'm not just going to sit and wait and wait until whenever they get around to it. Okay? <laughs> oh, oh, you're very smart. Okay, thank you. I'm so glad that you got the Ecamm Live from watching some of my streams, encouragement by me. And I also want you to keep being encouraged. And, you know, honestly... For you and anybody else who's listening or watching this, whether you're here live or you're watching it on the replay, don't follow nothing I tell you to do. Do your own thing. But just do something. Okay? <laughs> I can give you all the advice until I'm blue in the face. It doesn't matter. What really matters is what makes you happy, what you feel comfortable with, and how you want to present your content out here, you know? And all I want to do is just to encourage you to do something. You may listen to me and say, I'm going to do exactly the opposite of what she just said. That's fine. That's okay. Because you did something. All right. So, and so, um, the mixture channel is Davis now. Good, good for them. But I gotta be honest with you. They changed too much for me. You know, they lost their create. I'm not going, I, that's not my purpose. I didn't come here to talk about them. I know that you love them and I do too. I admire them. I think they're great, but I, I need some stability in my life. I can't keep being jerked around in all these different places to suit someone else's needs. And so this is why I try to be available to you guys on different platforms. I like being on Twitch, of course, YouTube, of course, Facebook. If you don't know, I have a Facebook page. And then Twitter is where I have the most followers. Actually, I have like 16,000 followers on Twitter. I've been building it up since 2009. So every now and then, I just go live on Twitter, but I actually have four Twitter accounts, you know, and I don't really talk about the other ones that much. My main Twitter where I ask people to follow me is Eileen, I-L-E-A-N-E. -E. Same way with Instagram. I'm there as well. And I'm also on Pinterest. Yes. <laughs> uh <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Studio Geek, for all of the updates over there. <laughs> oh, God bless them. Okay, so, um, <laughs> and Shawana's still laughing at me, sweetie. I love that you're getting a kick out of me. <laughs> and so, all right, so let me just wrap things up. Check out Ecamm Live. If you have a Mac and you're not even sure you're going to do live streaming or you're using some other tool, baby, baby, trust me, you want to get Ecamm Live at this price and keep it in your hip pocket. All right? Because first of all, these guys know how to develop the best tools for Macs. And Ecamm Live is not their only product. They also make call recorder, something called eyeglasses. They make a bunch of stuff I haven't even explored. All right. So um, they, speaking of being smart, those guys are really super duper smart. And another thing that they've done is, <clears throat> Studio Geek, I really wasn't asking for any more of the um, live streaming pros gossip, but thank you so much for the updates. One thing that Ecamm Live has done that is super smart, and really, I don't see anybody else doing it. I see people coming close, 
but they have that community over on Facebook, which is the beta group where they are taking us along with them on this journey, finding out all the things that we have issues and questions about because everybody's got different setups. For example, you saw earlier, I showed you that screen sharing tutorial. I was having a problem with screen sharing and it come to find out the reason why this never uh, occurred to the guys at Ecamm is because they use two monitors. They always use two monitors. So when they get ready to screen share, they always are screen sharing the right thing because they always use two monitors. I don't use two monitors. Not that I couldn't. I got about four monitors collecting dust back in my spare room. Okay. I don't feel like putting up another monitor. <laughs> so sometimes when I go to screen share, the wrong thing gets screen shared. And I'm trying to work through that with them, but there's very few people that are affected by it. But as they get the feedback that more and more people, like I helped my friend Eric with it this morning because he's also being affected by it, but they get that feedback, that direct feedback from us and they give us a shout out whenever they make an update to Ecamm, they'll say, we fixed so-and-so after feedback from Eileen. We fixed this thing because John Eric, you know, had 9,000 comments and then they had to reinforce their, <laughs> you know, they had to free up more resources for comments because the 9,000 comments broke, broke the commenting. Thing. <laughs> so like who gets 9,000 comments? Nobody, but John Eric, right? <laughs> so anyway, I'm babbling now. And I just want to say to you guys, I appreciate you with this being, uh, I know it's a little after Thanksgiving, so it's a happy belated Thanksgiving. And I do, do really, really thank you from the bottom of my heart for spending time with me and for um, just for being my pal here on YouTube. And I want to see you succeed. Like I said, I want you to have positive outcomes no matter where you are you know, streaming or podcasting or just doing videos or even writing. Blogging is, is one of the foundations of how I got started online. So, uh, uh, Studio Geek has two screens, but 95% I use my tiny 15 inch MacBook Pro screen. I'm thinking about getting that 16 inch MacBook Pro, but I got to pay off some of the stuff I bought, you know, like Stream Deck and yeah. <laughs> Thanks to my patrons. Thanks to my patrons. I, I rarely remember to say thank you to my patrons. And that is my fault. I got to make sure I thank you guys all the time because without the support of my patrons, I probably would not be able to, uh, you know, have this tool one day and the next day I buy a microphone or I, I upgraded my iPhone to the 11 Max Pro. You know, the support of my patrons, I love you guys to death. And if anybody wants to become a patron, that's right. You need to pay off that stream deck. Yes, I do. Because I put it on my credit card. <laughs> You know, and you also can, uh, using my links to buy things as an affiliate, uh, for Ecamm live and my shop over at Amazon, you know, those kinds of things help. And as I get this new gear and all that, what do I do? I sit down and I study it, watch a few YouTube tutorials and come back and teach you and share with you and learn from you so that we all can, you know, enjoy our tech and, and have fun. And, you know, we don't want anybody to ever tell us, you know, years ago, let me tell you a really quick story before I go. 
years ago. This was in the, I'll say it was the early 2000s. Uh, oh. No, I'm sorry. This was in the 90s. This was in the 90s. Okay, I had a boss, rest in peace, he's deceased now. And at our at the job that I work at, I still work there to this day. But at the job, they made this announcement, remember this is the 90s, that we were going to uh, start using the internet. Okay, and so they were having this big meeting and they sent out a memo to everybody. And they said, you know, to all staff, when I say send out a memo, we're talking about, you know, this was an email. It wasn't out, okay? You got paper. They would, Somebody would walk around and deliver these paper packets, and it was like a packet of maybe 20-some pages or whatever of the Internet. And it was sent to all staff because sometimes you would get stuck you would see stuff and it would only be for the boss or sometimes it would be for a specific coworker, you know, and because this was paper mail, right? But this was to all staff. So they said, we're going to do the internet. So I was super excited. I was like, oh my gosh, the internet. And, and, and so me and my coworkers were sitting around talking about the internet and everything. And then my boss comes back from some liquid lunch, if you know what I mean. My old boss. Remember, like I said, he's deceased now. So I'm not going to say anything bad about him. But he came over. He says, you're not going to that. You don't need to know how to use the Internet. I just want you all to let that resonate in your head for a minute. That somebody told me. He wasn't just speaking to me. He was speaking to all of us. So it wasn't about, you know, like you're a woman or it wasn't about that. It was just that he really in his head thought that we didn't need to know how to use the Internet. But can you imagine somebody, your boss, telling you that you don't need to know how to use a technology? You can't imagine how I felt. You just can't. Y'all can't imagine. Because first of all, none of y'all are my age. So you don't even know what things were like back then. Okay? But just know that I didn't care if I got fired. I didn't care what happened that day. I marched right in his office. And I had that thick packet of papers in my hand. I never did this before. Okay? And I said... This memo says to all staff, they're going to teach me how to use the internet and I'm going. And I walked out of his office. <laughs> you just don't know how brave and bold and how much that took for me to do that at that time. Okay. This was the nineties. Most of y'all wasn't even thought of. And, <laughs> and, uh, so of course nothing happened to me. I didn't get fired or anything like that. And the very next day he must've went home and told his wife, uh, to this day, I don't know this for sure, but to this day, I always swear that he went home and told his wife what happened. His wife told him, you better go in there and, and recognize, you know, she's right. The next day he came and before he even put his briefcase down in his office, because this was back in the day when you had to have a briefcase, before he even put it down in his office, he says, okay, we're going to go at 10 o'clock and then you two can go at 11 o'clock, you know, because they had to stagger it. They couldn't have everybody meet at the same time. And he went and he sat right next to me. Okay. And guess what? He never learned how to use the internet. He was just sitting there. I did. <laughs> so don't let anybody ever stop you. Don't ever think that, you know, a piece of technology is too hard or too complicated. Take your time. You got YouTube University. We ain't had that back in those days, okay? You've got lynda.com. I'm sorry. It's called LinkedIn Learning now. They got purchased right? 
There is so many tools and don't be afraid to invest in yourself if you can't find it on YouTube University, okay? Invest in yourself. You're worth it. I know you're worth it. Go ahead and get yourself educated and make an impact. Make some kind of positive change in this world because when it's all said and done you want to have a legacy that you leave behind you don't want it to be that wow he was here she was here and nothing changed when she got here and nothing changed when she left you want to have a legacy that's what's important all right, so with that, guys, like I said, once again, thanks to my patrons, those who are here, like Studio Geek 32, and those who will watch this in a replay, and those who will never even see this. You'll see all my private trainings over in the Facebook group, which you can't get access to unless you are a patron. And uh, you go to patreon.com slash Eileen Shawana. You're awesome. I feel that positive vibe coming from you, baby girl. <laughs> and uh, with that, toodles. Don't forget, Cyber Monday, 50% off. Eileen.link slash Ecamlive. Bye.